Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace. Today I want to talk about haircuts. We've been hearing a lot about haircuts recently because of this possible deal with the Greek government where the, Greek would basically, the Greeks basically give banks a haircut uh, where they'd only get half their money back. So a lot of people have asked how that actually works. So let me see if I can explain it. And in order to explain it properly, we need to, I think, start with like a regular sort of human haircut. All right, so let's go and meet our friend Lars. Here he is. And uh, Lars uh, goes to the, uh, the hair, hair salon to get this incredibly long hair that he's got cut off. His, his mum's not happy about it. He's got to get rid of it. So if Lars was going to get a 50% haircut, what this means is he'd basically lose, as you can see, 50% of his hair. So that's 50% of his hair is gone. Okay, but look, Lars is still smiling, right? Because firstly, he's had a haircut, so he looks nice and tidy. And secondly, he knows his hair is going to grow back. Okay, and that's the thing that doesn't happen if you are a European banker or a banker lending to the government of Greece. I mean, here, take for example, here's Francoise. Okay, Lo lovely girl that she is. And uh, she has lent with uh, her cohort of other bankers an enormous amount of, of, of money to Greece. Huge amount of money, big bag of money goes to Greece. Here it is. And uh, you know, Greece, is, as, as we know, has been having some problems and it's decided that it's, it simply cannot pay back its debt. It's actually $280 billion in total has been paid or is, being, uh, is owed by Greeks to the banks that lent it to him. So there's the money gone for the banks into Greece. And uh, let's, say it's, uh, let's say it's been lent at like 3%, for example. So Greece has said, look, we can't afford to pay this back. We, we can't afford to you know, make these interest payments. It's a nightmare for us. What are we going to do? We'd like you guys to take a haircut. And what this essentially means is, like Lars, they're basically getting the chop. And it means that uh, because it's a 50% haircut, this big bag has now been reduced to a very small bag okay, of just 140 billion. Okay, it's been cut in half. There's your haircut, straight in half like that there. And that's the money that's going to be returned from Greece back to bankers like Francoise. The problem, of course, is, well, one thing we should establish, by the way, is the interest rate remains the same, okay, but the money has been cut in half. So the, the Francoise and her banker, her fellow bankers, meanwhile, are out half of their money. They're out $140 billion. So while they lent out 280, they've only got 140 back. And here's the thing about banks, as we know, they basically borrow money from depositors. Depositors leave money with these banks. And then Francoise takes that money from the depositors and lends it out to people like Greece. So if they've only got half the money coming back that they lent out, it now means that they're in arrears to their depositors. So these depositors might say, hey, oh, there's a chance we're not going to get our money back. Let's run down to the bank and see if we can get our money back. There might be a run on the bank. We might find people queuing up to try and get the money out of the banks because they believe that they're not going to get their money back because these banks aren't going to be able to find this $140 billion that they've, uh, that they've lost to the Greek government. And there's a real question about where they're going to get that money from. There's a possibility they might get it from the... Uh, from the, 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 the bailout facility that they've established in Europe. There's a possibility that they actually might have it in their own coffers. They may be well enough capitalized to be able to handle this. But there's also a real possibility that we'll have these runs on these banks, that these banks will fail, and they will have a systemic collapse all the way throughout Europe, possibly contagion that runs throughout the world and through the US as well. And that could leave us very badly needing a drink.